at Langalanga Estate in Nakuru County, Mary Njeri is not taking any chances. Just like any other poultry farmer who wants to reap full benefits of her investment, she knows just too well what it means to maintain a healthy flock. This process, which is akin to taking livestock to a cattle dip, may sound like a baptism of fire of some sorts for these birds. But for Mary, it is an important exercise in killing external parasites. Kenya kilitumwa ntumia hii method kwa sababu hii hata ina kazi mingi. Unaona ni kuchika tu kuku na una dip, then unaisugua tu na una release. Together with her husband, Dennis Chege, they own this poultry farm, which has roughly 400 birds. The couple says immersing the chicken in this suspension to kill parasites is more effective as it kills more than 90% of the parasites compared to conventional methods like use of powder. Nilikuwa nikitumia hiyo kitambo. Nikaona haifanyi vizuri. Ati the, tuseme kama month, unakuta hizo dudu wa merudi. Na hizo dudu wa zione kanangi. Mary's farming venture began three years ago after a disappointing stint as a saloonist. With the help of her husband, they began with just four buds. They bought other buds as their parents' stock multiplied. But along the way, coccidiosis, a parasitic disease, took a toll on their chicken as the powdery pesticide they were using then failed to contain the outbreak. For the suspension to work, Mary uses a chemical known as ectomine, which is purely meant for external use. For two millimeters of the pesticide, she requires 20 liters of water to do the job. This is sufficient for 20 buds. In total, the pesticide costs 450 shillings. Though it looks kind of easy, Mary says caution should be observed during the entire process. Hii dawa si mzuri tena zikikunywa na si mzuri tena zikiingia kwa macho. Sasa lazima kichwa ikae juu, uoshe tu mwili kutoke hapa kwa neck ukiteremka. Uh, she woke up in the morning and gave them a lot of food so they will consume a lot of water. So even if they swallow, they, it will not affect the chick. Dipping the chicken in this suspension to kill the parasites takes roughly five minutes. And to ensure its effectiveness, Mary and her husband perform this exercise once in every three months. The couple rear the chicken mostly for chicks and egg production, earning them a gross of 27,000 shillings every week. The Kenya Poultry Farmers Association says the poultry population in Kenya stands at 32 million, of which 6 million are commercial hybrids and the rest are indigenous birds. Controlling of diseases, therefore, may prove to be a daunting task, especially for new small-scale farmers. But for the likes of Mary and her husband, a healthy flock is paramount, regardless of the method. Denis Otieno, Smart Farm.